Welcome to our lecture online. What is a Venn diagram? And it kind of fits into the category where you might say, it is hard to define, but I know it when I see one. Well, it turns out everybody recognizes a Venn diagram when they see one, but how do you define it? Well, one way to define it might be as follows. It is a diagram to depict and group data into categories visually, so you have a visualization of the grouping in categories, and to indicate how many of each group exhibit properties of one, some, all, or none of the categories. All right, it could also be that we have more circles. We could have three circles, two circles, and different kind of intersections. So here, we call that an intersection between the two circles. So let's say that this depicts cars at a dealership. And notice we have a circle that represents foreign cars and a circle that represents compact cars. We have four numbers, 16, 22, 28, and 14. So what do those four, uh, four numbers represent? Well, the 14 represent cars that do not belong to these either of these two categories. So neither foreign nor compact cars. So there's 14 that are either not a foreign car or not a compact car. 16 are foreign cars, but not compact. That's this number right here. 16 foreign cars, but if they were compact, they would also be inside the compact circle. So this means that there's 16 foreign cars that are not compact cars. The 28 means that you have 28 compact cars, but they're not foreign cars. So presumably they're domestic, because you can either be foreign or domestic. And finally, 22, where we have an intersection here between the two, they're both foreign and compact. So there's 22 that are both foreign cars, and they're also compact cars. So they're compact foreign cars, so to speak. All right, so let's say we're trying to answer the following questions. How many total cars do we have? How many foreign cars do we have? How many compact cars? How many domestic cars? How many domestic compact cars? And how many foreign compact cars? How do we figure that out from our Venn diagram? Well, first, how many total cars? To find the total cars, we simply need to add up all the various numbers. So in this case, that would be 16 plus 22 plus 28 plus 14. That would be 50 plus 30, which is 80 total cars. In other words, there are 80 cars on the lot of the dealership. Okay, of those 80 cars, how many are foreign cars? Well, anything that fits into the circle is a foreign car. So that's 16 plus 22. So 16 plus 22, that's equal to 38 of the cars on the lot are foreign cars. How many domestic cars? Oh, wait a minute, nope. How many compact cars, sorry, how many compact cars? Well, anything that fits in the circle that says compact is a compact car. So it would be 22 plus 28, that's equal to 50. Now notice that when you add these together, that doesn't add up to the total number of cars, but it doesn't have to. We're simply looking at uh, cars that have a particular category, a particular kind of uh, feature. All right. How many domestic cars? Well, you can either have a domestic car or a foreign car. And if we already know the total number of cars and we know the number of foreign cars, and if we subtract this number from that number, we should get the number of domestic cars. So in this case, 80 minus 38 which is 42, and that would be the number of domestic cars. How about how many domestic compact cars? All right, well, notice that these 22 are compact cars, but they're foreign cars. The 28 are compact cars, but they don't belong to foreign cars, so therefore they must be domestic cars. So in this case, 28 would represent domestic cars that are compact or compact domestic cars. And how many foreign compact cars? Well, it has to be inside the circle of foreign, and it must also be inside the circle of compact. 22 is foreign and compact. That's where they intersect. So we can say there's 22 foreign compact cars. Now, if we add the domestic compact cars and the foreign compact cars, we should equal the total compact cars. And of course, that's what we have right here. And notice that shows that we add these two together to get 50. So now we can see Venn diagrams, well, they're ubiquitous. You see them in a lot of places. 
You recognize them as you see them. Usually it's a box with circles inside, two circles, three circles, and so there's certain type of intersections. And then, based upon the numbers inside the circles, inside the intersections, and inside the box, you should be able to determine how many of each you have that have a specific category or a specific feature that, that is shown inside the Venn diagram. And that is how it's done.